Hi, this is Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. I want to talk to you a little bit uh, about these three light testers. I want to go over a certain wiring configuration. This is my test rig. I've got the wires uh, set up right now to, for a correctly wired outlet. I've got the two white neutral wires connected together, the two black hot wires connected together, and the two green ground wires connected together. So this is a correctly wired outlet. If I plug this tester in, these two lights come on indicating that it is correctly wired. I've also got a lamp cord right here connected to a lamp over here. I'll pull this lamp into the view of the video. If I turn the switch on the lamp, it comes on, turn it, it goes off, on, off. So everything's working just like it should. Now what happens if I disconnect these two neutral wires? Well, first of all, the lamp is gonna stop working because current cannot flow because the neutral is not connected. But if you notice what happened when I turn this lamp on, I'm gonna turn it back on, this light comes on. Why does that light come on? It comes on because there's now a voltage difference between the ground wire and the neutral wire. That's because this neutral wire is now live it's got 120 volts that's because you've got power flowing uh, through the hot leg of this cord to the lamp through the bulb back through the cord and to this when you don't have current flowing there cannot be a voltage drop so there's no voltage drop at the light bulb like there would be uh, if the light bulb were actually on. Instead, it's basically just a conductor. It's conducting that 120 volts. And you've got your voltage difference as indicated here between the neutral and the ground. And then you've got your voltage difference here between the indicated between the hot and the ground. And that's what causes these two lights. Now, according to the legend on the tester, these two lights mean that there's a hot ground reverse. A hot ground reverse is something that you'll almost never see in reality. It's something that all just basically never happens. It's something that would be very dangerous if you had that in your home, but fortunately it's not something that's very common. Yet it's one of the configurations called out or shown on the legend on these testers. So what the point of this video is, is to show you that you cannot always trust the indications you get on here. Sure, these tools are good for some diagnosing uh, certain problems and making sure electrical outlets are properly wired, but they can also give you false indications. As in this case, if you didn't know better and you had a indication of a hot ground reverse, you may go start trying to diagnose where the hot and the ground wires got crossed in your house and you're never gonna find it because it does not exist. Instead, all you have is a neutral wire disconnected, a load plugged in and that load turned on. Now this could be plugged into the outlet right where the neutral is disconnected or it could be in uh, any outlet downstream of that and on the same circuit and you'll get this same indication. So you've gotta realize that these testers while they're useful, they are not perfect. They can give you some misleading information if you don't understand how to use them and what those indications mean. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.